Whenever I convulse, people used to run away. The social consequences of epilepsy are quite devastating. When I arrived in Zambia in 1994, I had no idea of the burden of epilepsy I'd find there. But I quickly realized that to combat this terrible disease, I would have to leave the hospital and go out and engage the community. She had to learn a great deal about what the traditional healers, what the system was about, uh, what she had to do in order to gain their trust, even before attempting to develop her interventions and the approaches she was taking. People are talking about epilepsy whenever they see me because a lot of patients have been helped through this program. One scale is available. 423 people with epilepsy came forward for care. We managed to control some of the problems that would arise because of the seizures. Things like people getting bent, people drowning, you know, people falling off trees or heights. Gretchen's work takes cutting-edge science and applies it to one of the more difficult problems of working on epilepsy in an environment that's not necessarily rich in the technology that we've become so used to in the United States. It's still an extraordinarily important problem. So in short, what I would say is the work between Michigan State University and the Mission Hospital has really been very cordial and very good for the sake of the patients. That the people of Chikakata have benefited a lot. Not only Chikakata by my, but my children. Now, since I've been taking these drugs, I don't no longer have any seizure. At least this time I have recovered. I'm able to do everything right. People with epilepsy. The door now is open to those epileptic patients. They're happiest because they come well when they go to Chikakata. Thank you very much.